Good afternoon from Hamburg, Germany, and welcome back to the Daily Photography Vlogs. Today we are in Blankenesa, and we're photographing a shipwreck in the Elbe River. All starts right now. Let's go. So we're in Blancanesa and Josh is back. Josh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, what is Blancanesa? Um, Blancanesa is a part of Hamburg right at the Alps and yeah, it's more like a posh area of Hamburg. Mm -hmm. So you can really see it. Yeah, there's some nice houses here, let's put it that way, and some nice cars. Uh, Nelly thinks that this is probably the kind of poshest or richest neighborhood district of Hamburg. Um, and there's a shipwreck here, which is why we're here. So exactly. hopefully we can get a nice uh, photo because it's very overcast again today in Hamburg and it's getting cold, man. The winter is coming back. This area is called like Treppen something, right? Treppen Viertel. Yes. With an F? No, with an B. With a B. B. Treppen Viertel. Viertel. Treppen Viertel. So this area of Blancanesa is called the Treppen Viertel, which is sort of like stairway uh, vegs, I guess, like leading down towards the Elbe. So this one is about 250 meters long, and it kind of winds its way through these beautiful houses that are uh, situated on this hillside going down to the river. And we can now see the river, and it looks really rough. It's a bit windy and uh, cold today, which is very good for the photograph that we've got in mind. I think you're in for a treat, because this is a very cool composition here in Hamburg, and I hope that these conditions are actually perfect for what we're looking to capture. Beautiful day at the beach in Germany. Not sure if you can hear this wind because my microphone is so awesome, but it's cold and it's windy. Woo, beach life, beach life. Woo. So we've made it to the Uwe shipwreck and I'm hiding behind this brick wall because it is super windy down here on the Elbe. You can see the shipwreck there and Josh in the background. And uh, we're setting up a couple of different long exposures because I have seen some images of this uh, shipwreck. It's really just the uh, the stern or the bow that is uh, protruding out of the water relatively close to the beach, but still you need a telephoto. I was thinking about only the 24 to 70, but I'm glad I brought the 70 to 200 because I'm isolating it from actually up here on this far corner. That's my kit way over there, but it's so windy up there that I had to come down to talk to you down here. So uh, I think I've got a nice shot with the 10 stop. It's uh, 30 seconds F11 and it looks pretty good, but I think I can push it just a little bit longer. So I'm gonna get a little creative, see if we can get a nice long exposure at a shallow depth of field utilizing two ND filters. And I think I could get a cool effect because I am getting the background way off in the distance on the other side of the Elbe. And if I can sort of use that as part of the composition, but in a shallow depth of field so that it's really blurry, it could, it could look really cool. So that's what I'm going for right now. Hopefully my kit doesn't get stolen.
got to escape the wind a little bit, but I've changed my composition here and I've got my tripod set up on the beach there. You can see Josh in the background again. And I got a second composition here now utilizing the 10 stop uh, ND filter. And I put a five stop soft guide on the front because I realized that at 55 seconds, I'm getting a really nice well-balanced composition on the shipwreck and the water in the foreground, but the background and the sky is totally blown out and kind of overexposed. And you can't really see a lot of the detail in the clouds, even at 55 seconds. So I put that five stop soft guide on the front to dampen out the sky and bring back that contrast to really like accentuate the uh, the clouds and it's a really nice balance to the water and the shipwreck all in monochrome black and white. So I'm really happy with this image down on the beach at 55 seconds utilizing two filters. It's the Benro filter kit, the 10 stop ND and the five stop soft guide. We stepped off the beach and I've had a minute to review my images and I am actually really happy with two of the shots, both in color and in black and white. I thought when I was uh, showing up to the shipwreck location that it was definitely gonna be a black and white image, monochrome day, but the color is really actually quite nice. It balances really well with the background to the kind of rusty brown color and then you've got the, uh, the gray scale uh, all the way from white to black that looks really nice. So I'm happy with the color image and the black and white. You let me know in the comments below which of the images in this video you like best and big thanks to Josh it's been a pleasure it was an awesome uh, idea to come out and shoot the shipwreck you've never been here before I've no? never been here yeah. photographing so long in Hamburg but never been here. yeah so if you don't know Josh has an awesome Instagram page with some incredible photos from Hamburg so go and give him a follow because it is uh, really inspiring stuff my friend I've Thank stolen a number of his compositions for these daily vlogs as well so as always it's been great to make the vlog thank you so much for watching we will see you on the next one.